I'm very pleased today to rise to speak about the latest Liberal-led government's endometriosis initiative. We're investing $400,000 educating doctors and nurses as part of funding set aside in this year's budget, improving education among primary health professionals. This is a really critical part of what we will do um, with the National Endometriosis Plan. We will develop Australia's first clinical practice guideline for the disease, the first ever. This is a step towards addressing those patients waiting between seven to 12 years. And as we've heard through the endometriosis debate, sometimes that diagnosis can wait up to 20 years. This is a really huge issue for the women affected by endometriosis. The government is also investing in education at the earliest level investing in developing the inaugural in-depth tertiary unit on the disease for our nurses. This will ensure nurses prior to graduating learn firsthand about endometriosis. Given that they're on the front line, this unit will go a long way to earlier diagnosis and better treatment and long-term management for women with the disease. This measure addresses another one of the first ever National Endometriosis National Action Plan recommendations. Over 700,000 Australian women live with this disease, and I'm proud to be part of a government the taking these first steps.